Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to use Samsung Smart Switch. This allows you to transfer everything over from your iPhone device to your Samsung device. Now how we're going to start off is first going online. And then we're going to go right up here and go to SamsungSmartSwitch.com. So, we're going to type that in, samsungsmartswitch.com, and then we will go to the website. And this is what the website should look like, and the whole idea is that you can now switch without having to lose anything, as it says up here. So, we're going to download this program for our Windows device. There is a separate video on how to do this for a Mac, so please make sure to check that out if you have a Mac. And then it is downloading right here. And now we have that downloaded. And now we can run the program. And here's our program. And we're going to click Agree. And now it's going to tell you, click in the device, uh, the Samsung device, to into the computer. So that's what we're going to do now. I'm going to connect an S4. This should be able to be done with an S4, uh, Note 3, and you're going to see right here it is installing the driver for this device. But as I was saying, you should be able to do this with an S4, a Note 3, or any um, other mainstream Samsung device. So here we go. So uh, as you can see, I'm select. Um, it is already located the backup file. You can do this with, from Apple, BlackBerry, or even Nokia. Um, I believe also even LG as well. But so it's going to select the version of the OS. So it's going to have Apple on here. Uh, again, we can do these different manufacture these different manufacturers, and you then can select the different kind of backups. So if there's multiple ones, you can select different multiple ones, and then we're going to just click next, and it's going to tell you all the things you can transfer over. So from here, you can transfer over videos if you choose to, pictures, application lists, so the apps that you downloaded on your iOS device, and um, Samsung will help you uh, manage them home screen, log screen, and bookmarks. So for this purpose, I'm just going to uh, do the app list, home screen, log screen, and bookmarks. So we're going to do that, and shouldn't be that much then. And we're going to transfer right over. Now, uh, you see it does, uh, it does say that you have to download uh, the Samsung Smart Switch migration app from the Google Play Store in order to download the apps. So, you download and then you're going to go into your uh, Play Store. Um, I'm not signed in here, but this is the app you need to download on your phone. And what this will allow you to do is then have uh, different apps uh, to download. So, say if you had um, Words with Friends and if it wasn't on Android, it would have a similar app two words with friends. And so that's how it works. You can pick the, all the categories and if it doesn't have the exact app, it tells you one that's similar to it. Uh, so like iBooks, a similar app to it would be Kindle and Nook. All right. So, and that is the entire process of Samsung Smart Switch. Hopefully you found this helpful. Please give a like thumbs up if you did. And thank you for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y the Android guy.